Hi, this is Paul from HowToPlayBass.com here. I've got a lesson for you, a tune that's been requested quite a bit. It's the bass line to Good Times by Chic. Um, iconic bass line, great bass player, Bernard Edwards, greatly missed, sadly died, age of 43, 44, something pretty young um, in the mid-90s. Um, big loss to the bass playing world. Um, I think Bernard Edwards is a very underrated bass player and gets overlooked a lot because the music he played in is classified as disco music. Some of his bass lines are incredibly groovy, incredibly funky. You can learn a lot from playing in the pocket, that kind of stuff, from listening and replicating what Bernard Edwards does. A um, bunch of classic bass lines you'll find scattered throughout Chic, Sister Sledge, some of the Diana Ross stuff he played on, some really great stuff. Good Times is the one nearly everyone knows. It's been sampled by rappers and, and used in tunes, um, so you'll, you'll definitely be familiar with it. And another one, Bites the Dust, the great Queen tune, was written as a kind of response to Good Times. So um, it, it was an iconic tune, just a great bass line. So um, before we just head over to the lesson, quickly remind you, if you're not subscribed to my free monthly e-zine, um, there's a link to my website just underneath this video if you're watching in YouTube. Uh, you can head over there and subscribe. It's free. You get a baseline every month in notation and tab, which is totally free. Um, so it's definitely worth subscribing to. Um, head over there, do that. Let's move on to the lesson. Let's look at that riff. Okay, I'm going to look at the uh, Intro first, the main riff, which plays in the chorus, the riff that you all know. Play with the metronome. Uh, metronome's set to about 90, so it's slower than normal. Um, and we'll talk through the notes in a second. One, two, three, four. Stop that and shift that out of the way. Okay, first two bars. Okay, you've got E, E, E. And then you've got two more E's. F sharp, second fret of the E string. G, third fret of the E string. Open A, B, second fret of the A string. C sharp, fourth fret of the A string. D, open D string. E, second fret of the D string, and then down to A, which is the it's the last sixteenth note of the second bar of the pattern, but it's kind of like the first, it's like an anticipation of the first beat of the next bar. So that pattern just on its own is So do it again really slowly so you can kind of hear the rhythm. Okay, notice one thing um, there, don't necessarily do it so much when I'm playing up to tempo, but if you're playing slowly, Bernard Edwards used to use um, flat wound strings and he never really changed them, so his, sing his strings were quite dead and quite thuddy. So even though you often see it notated out with full quarter notes, they don't often sound, so what I'm doing with my left hand there is just muting the open string to stop it ringing um, and to give that give a bit of space into the line. And you see I'm doing it with the A string as well. Um, so just because I get asked that question sometimes what I'm doing when I'm doing that, that's what's happening. Now the second bar, the first beat is kind of anticipated, uh, sorry the third bar, the first beat is anticipated at the end of the second bar so it's That's the kind of the pattern. I'll slow it down. So those notes are A, which which that's the A that happens at the end of the um, 
second bar. Let's open A string, open A string, open A string, then two more on the open A strings, then you've got F sharp, the fourth fret of the D string, open A string, G, fifth fret of the D string, F sharp, fourth fret of the D string again, open A, and then you've got the run at the end, open E, G, open E, F sharp, G. So the whole pattern, I'll try and play through the whole pattern really slowly. One bit to watch there, just with your muting, is um, when you go from the open A string to the F sharp and back and then up to the G string, you need to watch, especially when you're playing at tempo. You have to really try and make sure that that sounds quite clean and nothing's ringing um, and carrying on because the um, this is one of those songs where it really hangs on the bass line. The bass line's got to be spot on. So that's the riff. Let's go look at the, um, the verse. Okay, the verse is a bit simpler than the riff. Um, still same basic sort of chordal pattern. Two bars on the E, two bars on the A. Play through the metronome, we'll talk through the notes. One, two, three, four. does that. There are a couple of little variations, but that'll get you through as a basic. Okay, the notes. Start off E. Mostly it's open E. Then you've got this hammer from D to E, the octave of E's. Fifth and seventh frets of the A string. And then back to the open E. And then you've got that little kind of skip before you go up to A. And that's E, G, third fret of the E string, back to the open E. Then you're up to A. It's just open A, uh, sorry, not open A string. You've got A at the fifth fret of the E string. Open E, A. Open E, A, hammer, D and E again. So those two, there's two bars in, in A are. And then you're back to the bars in E. And that pretty much will make up the verse, and you put that together. Um, there's only two sections to the song, really, is the riff and the verse. Yeah, you can put some fills and stuff in. Um, some good fills to cop from, uh, in fact, the last recording uh, Bernard Edwards ever did. There's a video, uh, sorry, DVD stroke concert recording available called Chic Live at the Budokan, um, famous venue in Japan. Um, it was filmed. Uh, recorded around 95, I think, or 96, I forget exactly which year. And Bernard Edwards actually died the night, af the night of that concert. Um, he wasn't very well, he had pneumonia. Um, but he still managed to do the gig, and um, there's an extended version of Good Times, and some interesting fills and some interesting things that he does. Um, you could get some ideas for throwing in some variations. But if you're going to throw in some variations, be really, really careful and cautious. The main thing is to get the groove happening and really make the song flow um, and keep the feel of the song. Um, OK, that's pretty much, uh, you should be able to put that together. Going to be doing two or three more sort of funk and disco ones over the next few weeks. So watch out for them. I'll catch you then.